Russell, now that you've been in the system a little bit, how do you how do you like this offense and how you how you fit in it so far? Well, I think we uh, everybody's just doing such an amazing job of studying. Everybody's on their stuff. Um, everybody's committed. I mean, there's guys that come in super early to work work with me in the mornings, and, and we, we we all kind of you know do our own thing as players and just spend a lot of time. I think it's got to be a player own thing, and uh, that's what we're doing. I mean, it's just tremendous to see guys like Jerry Judy and uh, you know obviously Cortland Sutton and Tim Patrick. Those guys are so brilliant, but also Beck and and uh, and Sabi and just um, there's so many other guys, and then the young guys Dolchich and and uh, Montreal, M Dub, those guys have been coming in early as well. So it's just, I think the dedication, and obviously I think you guys saw a lot of good stuff out here today, a lot of touchdowns and a lot of good things. The defense looks tremendous too. We're gonna have a really good football team, and that's exciting. And uh, we're really excited about the opportunity to, to, to play football. A lot of the key to red. Hey, and um, this lot of you, the work today you did with your team. Say it one more time. The work you did with your team today. Mm -hmm. uh, There's no reason you'd remember this, but back in your first Pro Bowl, as walking off the practice field, mm -hmm. and I asked you about, is he going to do a threat quarterback? Mm -hmm. You know on certain terms you told me you went from the pocket first. Yeah. So it's still feel that way, my dear. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think everything starts from the pocket to be able to have control, to be able to control the game through the pocket, but also outside of the pocket, too. you got to be able to dominate both. And um, I think that uh, the guys that we have, the weapon movie that we have, the up offensive line up front, those guys have been – Blocking their butts off, and so it's been it's been a lot of fun, and we got a lot a really good system. We got some good stuff, some amazing stuff that we're doing. Um, guys are getting open, they're making plays. Um, guys are making plays all 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 over today, just touchdowns after touchdown, making plays, great catches, um, and the defense are making good plays too. I mean, it was just such a competitive practice, such a uh, felt like a, it felt like a championship type week in, in, in OTA to one. So that's a good feeling. At What's the same key to time, being? a lot of red zone today. And you going kind of off script a little bit, scrambling, and then guys would get open. Is that key in the red zone? You yeah, know, I think that makes sure. I think we hit, hit some on time, hit some a little bit later. Um, you know, you move around and make some plays. There's a lot of good stuff. I mean, we've got to be able to do it all. We've got to be able to run the ball great in the red zone, too. And um, it's all about touchdowns when you cross that red zone. Yeah, you know, the whole game is about touchdowns, but especially when you get across that red zone to where, you know, you want to be the best in the league, you know, to be able to do that, you know, and that's, that's a key thing. You want to be at least top five in the league. And, and I think that's something that's really important. Coach Hackett has talked about how important it is to compete, that this team competes. And I mean, it's been a long stretch here, five years of losing. Do you feel like you are you have to set that example? Like Mike said, you're scrambling around, you're making plays. You've been doing this for a decade, but is it important for you to set that example that this is how this is going to be? Yeah, you got to set the tone every day. Uh, there is no other option. You know? uh, if you want to win, you want to win it all. You want to be uh, the best in the world as a team and everything else. There, there is no other option. So that's what we have to do, and it's it's a wild obsession every day, you know. And and also too the uh, the ability to also be able to enjoy the moments as well, you know, to be able to push to the edge and not fall off the edge, to be able to, the ability to to uh, to to work so hard uh, that that you're gassed at the end of practice, but then to be able to take your time and recover and just enjoy uh, the the process of being able to play this game, um, the ability to just get extra work before practice, after practice. Uh, get extra work in the weight room, whatever. Take care of your mind and your body and your soul. It's a, it's a, it's a lifestyle. You know, winning's a lifestyle. There's, um, it's not even, you know, I think that it's, it's bigger than just the ability to compete. It's also the ability to understand the habits of winning. There's habits that, 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 have, to, that have to occur. There's no other option. I think that's what winners do, and that's what a winning football team does, and I think that's what we're, try what we're trying to do. We're trying to build right now in the midst of it all. Do you have the schedule, schedule came out since we talked to you Say last. Again? The schedule came out since we talked to you last. What do you think it's going to be like going back to Seattle, that, that week one opener? Um, I, I think it's going to be an exciting time. Obviously, uh, Seattle's meant the world to me over the past 10 years. It's a special place, a special place to play, Lumen Field. Um, you know, I have you know, high regard for all those guys over there and, and what they do. I think for me, it's, it's not emotional though. It's got to be non emotional. You got to be able to go into it uh, with understanding that it's just ball, you know. And uh, also understanding that there's been amazing times. They've thrown a lot of touchdowns there. Been lot, won a lot of games there. So I uh, got great experience. And I just, you know, what I think about every time I go into a stadium, what I actually think about is there's one kid in the sta stadium, boy or girl, that's sitting maybe in the 300 seats, that that may be the last time they get to see you. And that's what the game's about for me. The game's about just being able to glorify God, to be able to do what I love to do. Um, and, and also to be able to, you know, put on a show every time you step on the field, no matter where it is. I don't care if it's in the park. I don't care if it's in the parking lot. I don't care if it's right here behind us, or uh, or a beautiful stadium like like Lumen Field in Seattle. Um, it'll be a special place. Uh, it'll always be a special place in my heart forever. 
Um, and uh, and so, you know, for me, um, it's about going out there and, and trying to play the best football for our, for our football team here and, uh, and going to try to go win. A couple of weeks ago, you talked about being the new guy for the first time in a while. What, when you knew you were coming here, how did you want to approach that? Obviously having the stature that you do, but also being a new face. Yeah, I, I think, um, you know, the cool part about um, to be able to almost start all over again is you, you're able to uh, learn from your experiences of what's gone really, 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 really well. Learn from the experiences of, okay, what could we have done better? What could I have done better? And then also, too, but the opportunity to just continue to learn. I mean, every day I wake up, that's, that's what I'm obsessed with is the ability to learn and just keep growing and keep building and, you know, uh, you know stacking the chips in a way, you know. And so that, to me, has always been my, my passion for the game. Um, doesn't matter uh, what color jersey it's been since I, w I was five, six years old to, to today, to when I'm, you know, uh, when I hang up my jersey one day, a long time from now. Uh, it, you know, no matter what it, what it is, I, I have the passion for the game. So, for me, it's about relationships and teaching the guys, especially the younger guys, as I, I'm able to um, use all the experience of what I know from just from ball. And to be able to work with the guys early in the afternoons as well, and to be able to spend time to text them and check in with them and see what what questions they have or whatever it is, and that that time has been really good for all of us. Um, you know, I think obviously the relationship standpoint, but also too from the ball standpoint, and that's what we're here to do. We're here to win. We're here to play, and so um, you know, for me, it, it's been an amazing journey um, here so far. It's it's um, you know, and, and every day, you know, take it for granted. You know, the thing that I realize about life, you know, I went to Seattle Children's Hospital this past weekend and. You never know, you know, you never know. Um, and so every day you come on the field, every day you're able to come into the building, you're just grateful and have gratitude in your heart to be able to play the game. And that's what it's about for me. You, you showed a clip of Peyton watching practice with you. Do you seek him out or it's something you guys do? Yeah, we've been, t we've been talking obviously uh, a lot. You know, I've gotten to know Peyton over the years. You know, he was my quarterback coach way back in the day when I was in 10th or 11th grade. That's the first time we kind of, and uh, got some time to spend a lot of time together back then in Louisiana. At his passing academy, and um, but you know, over the years, uh, we've, we've we've connected, we've talked quite a bit. Obviously, we played against each other and everything else. But um, yeah, so since I've gotten here, he's he's kind of taken me under his wing in a beautiful way. Um, you know, uh, Ashley too has taken C under her wing and just helping with thoughts, schools, this, that, you know, <laughs> where to eat, you know, all these different things. Um, but obviously, the thing that Peyton and I both love is football. You know, we can spend all day watching football together. And uh, so that's what we were able to do and spend a little time together. And we'll do more as we go. But it's just uh, it's fun just to be able to be around, you know, you know, arguably the world's greatest, you know, to ever play the game at that position. And so to be able to learn um, and, and ask questions and vice versa and talk football, just um, he's asking me questions vice versa. That's the fun part. And obviously you got John Elway here too. So you, you had two, two of the greatest guys to play the game, you know, right, right in your midst. What surprised, what surprised or impressed you about Tim Patrick, Cortland Sutton, these, this wide receiver group? Um, surprised me. Well, I knew that. Um, I knew first of all they were dedicated to the game. Um, their talent level is, I mean, off the charts. You know, Tim Patrick and, and Cortland, and obviously Jerry Judy. Those guys. Um, you know, they're arguably some of the best guys ever. You know, to play this game right now. Um, I think the I think the thing about them though that you love and that jumps off is it's actually the little things. It's actually the, the the understanding of the game, how they sit in the front of the room, how they ask questions, how they're constantly learning, how they're. How they're, how they're talking about, hey, if I did this, what would you think about this and that? Those kind of questions, those level of questions. But I, what, I, what I really admire is actually their work ethic in the weight room. Yeah, it's a little thing, but you know how they get there early, how they're ready to go every day. Russ, Russ how much have you uh, liked learning the new playbook? <coughs> What's the nuts about the new playbook? Well, I can't say too much. Um, <laughs> but, but, uh, but yeah, I think there's touchdowns all over the field. You know, that's what I think. I think that with our offensive line up front, I think with the guys that we have, the playmakers. At the receiver position, I think the guys at the tight end position, um, even Dolchis is, is a really good rookie too as well. Um, he gets the game. Um, you know, just the just the, the energy of, of what we're doing, um, I think, is really spectacular. And then you got a, a world class running back in, in, in Javante Williams in the backfield. Obviously, uh, uh, Melvin Gordon's on our football team too. He he has a knack for the end zone. He's had a knack for the end zone since Wisconsin days when he was a freshman with me. Um, and uh, and then the rest of the guys too. You know, so I'm excited about those guys and what they can do, and uh, it's been great. You're right. Russell, Marty, last question. Russell, when you talk about being non-emotional and you return to Seattle, is that any different than you approach any other game? Except we've, all, we've always known you as a passionate player, and you talk about being non-emotional and returning to Seattle. Is that is that a different mindset that you're taking into that game as opposed to any other game? No, I've always kind of played neutral. I've, 
you know, I, I think there's a difference. You know, I, I've always played neutral in a neutral mindset. You know, I, for me, I'm a positive person by nature, and I believe in non-negativity, you know. So, I don't, you know, negativity works 100% of the time. So what I, what I really believe in is this ability to be neutral in the midst of the storm, in the midst of chaos, in the midst of opportunity, in the midst of good things, good times, challenging times, uh, to be able to play this game, you know, even keel, to be neutral in the midst of it all. I think that for me, um, <clears throat> you know, obviously – uh, I think the biggest thing is is that just try to do what you always do, you know. I've done it for a long time, you know, play a lot of football. And so for me, it's just focus on the fundamentals, focus on the midst of the game, focus on the joy, focus on, on that person that's in the stands, that young boy or young girl that's in the 300 seats up top in the top left corner. And uh, just throw the ball and make plays, score touchdowns.